How did Noman Carr come to suspect my spy on Nar Shaddaa? Tell me, Republic wretch, what alerted him? Master, Noman Carr has the new Padawan. She seems to know any being's true nature. She senses hidden darkness and untapped purity. Astonishing. I've never heard of the Force granting such a gift. Tell me, how does her power work? All I... all I know is when Master Noman Kar brought her to Nar Shaddaa, this Padawan sensed darkness in your spy simply by seeing him. Seems far-fetched to me. I have witnessed many unlikely things in my lifetime, Apprentice. If this young Padawan can see through deception and disguise with such little effort, she threatens everything I have worked for. We must know more about this Padawan. Yes, my Apprentice. Such a threat must not wander the galaxy unchecked. Who is this Padawan, you Republic pest? Tell me everything you know about her. She was found on Alderaan. Her power first emerged, training on Tatooine. Uh, uh. The Ravager has emptied his mind. That is all we have to go on. A few random places within the greater galaxy where Noman Carr and his Padawan have been. I must ponder our next move. Waste no time. Get your starship in my hangar and wait for further instructions. The information we siphoned from that Republic agent will be our map. We know my spy on Nar Shaddaa was being surveilled. We know where this Padawan was discovered, where she trained. Find the people who know this girl. Someone means enough to her to make her come out of hiding. The girl must have family on Alderaan, and I have theories about what lies on Tatooine. I am confident this is how we will prevail. The Padawan's training is incomplete. She is susceptible. The anguish you cause will flush her out, and you will kill her and her master. Perhaps the Padawan can be turned. Her power would be a great asset, yes. Put through enough torment, she may reveal her base nature. But we must be cautious. The danger she represents is extreme. As long as she lives, she is a threat. Be off then. Tatooine and Alderaan await. Discover this Padawan's identity and destroy her. Master Yunlock. The Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. Come no farther, Sith. I have been aware of your pilgrimage here. You are a fascinating and contradictory example of your order. I know why you've come. Master Noman Kar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. You've figured it out. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I assure you, I can be very convincing. Your will may be great, but hers is greater, and mine is unrelenting. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I fear no one. I'll be standing on your corpse soon enough. Give no quarter, you lead. I should send no one try to on. Stop! Hold your weapon, Sith! I beg you. You lead, stay your tongue. No, she is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yunlock. Don't you want me to spare you, too? My life is less important. You may do with me as you please. 
Master Carr took Jaysa from here, and he continues her training on... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep. I do not relish wiping Yu Li's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Don't try that sorcerer's nonsense on me, Jedi. Believe me, I would, if I didn't sense it would be futile. Jaysa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. You are filled with presumptions, Yonlark. I mean her no harm. I know your mind, Sith. You twist the truth and manipulate weakness. I must err on the side of caution. All you know is Jaysa's name. You may as well kill me. You will learn nothing more here. I must find tranquility, so Jaysa will sense only peace when you strike me down. Your death will wound her deeply. There is no death. Only... the Force. You have done admirably, Apprentice. Your time on Tatooine was well spent. Norman Carr's Padawan, Jaysa Wilson, no longer enjoys anonymity. I am very pleased. Your handling of Master Yonlock has sent our enemies a clear message. Norman Carr and Jaysa Wilson now know they cannot hide. Only Alderaan remains. Jaysa Wilson's home planet where Norman Carr found her. Excellent. You will discover everything you can about this Padawan and destroy everyone she loves there. What are we trying to achieve? It is the same mandate as Tatooine. Assault Jaysa from afar. Stir her emotions and flush her to the surface. Our standing army outside is being wiped out. Someone or something is on its way here. My technicians almost have the force field reset, but we're still a sitting duck. <laughs> There have been several assassinations of House Thule officials, whose security systems were downed by the generator explosion. In my opinion, House Olgo is behind all this. Your opinion is about to change. I'm here for information on Jason Wilson's family. Intruder! Giselle, get behind me. None of you panic. I'll handle this. Sith, did I hear you right? You've perpetrated all this? In search of my former handmaiden? I doubt you would have taken my call. It might have worked. I'm a practical woman. You have decimated my forces outside. They were to be deployed to secure a part of my front that's about to fall. Now I have no reinforcements. You seek information only I have, and my front needs bolstering. Perhaps we can help each other. I'll kill your entourage one by one until you give me what I want. Go ahead. I'm not a commander with a soft heart. My actions are always dictated by the big picture. Kangrel, Prin, and Blanks knew the risks of serving a general. It will be a waste of effort to kill them. Even if you destroy my flea of a servant, you'll still get nothing from me, unless you agree to defend my front from Ulgo. So be it. Might as well kill him, too. <laughs> this isn't working, Sith. I am not so... I am not so easily broken. No, stop! Please! Blanks is my lover. I'll tell you everything. Just please don't kill him! Jason Wilson's parents are servants in Castle Ogana. They are stationed on the Central Tower. Here, here, take this. It's a passkey that will gain you entry to their chamber. Just please stop choking Blanks. Your stubbornness has sealed his fate. Oh, Blanks, my love! You... you are cruelty. I hope my Organa brothers cut you to shreds as you try to invade our castle. Your life is about to end.
General Jessel's warning was true. The Sith has come for us. Men, rally around me. The fight is upon us. I didn't think a single assailant could make it through Castle Organa's defenses all the way here to us. I kill everything that gets in my way. Mark my words. I will stop you, Sith. You will not harm Parvin and Gregor Wilson. I vow it. Try to stop me, and you die. Please. If we really are the cause of all this death, I... I want to know why. Fine. Say your peace, Sith. I'm not going anywhere. And I will protect them, no matter what. Sit tight, Jedi. I'll be with you shortly. Please, no more bloodshed. If there's something you want from us, I'm willing to listen. Gregor, this has to do with Jaysa. I just know it. Give her a prize. Jason must get her full sensitivity from you. I knew she shouldn't have gone with the Jedi. Now the Empire is hunting her. Sith, Jason was our life. She was going to marry Organa nobility so that we would no longer have to be servants. When she left, we sacrificed that dream. We don't know anything about Jason now. We were told we would probably never see her again. We are mere servants. What could you want with us? You will be my message to Jason. You just want us to give her a message? No, Gregor. It's our deaths that will be a message to Jason. Listen to your wife, Gregor Wilson. Her explanation is very likely the truth. Please, Sif. Is there any way to inspire you to spare us? Nothing springs to mind. <clears throat> I've never seen a Sith kill that way so quickly. I had no time to intervene. My confidence and ego made me lax and led to their deaths. My failure will only be remedied by bringing you to justice. Don't worry, your shame ends now. May the Force give me the strength to overcome you. By rooting out this Jason Wilson's parents, you have reached across the galaxy to strike a sharp blow at our enemies. Every lead followed perfectly, every planet ravaged. Our adversary is growing antsy, I can feel it. Expect news soon. Barris out. My lord, I thought it prudent not to interrupt Darth Barris. We received a recorded transmission. It is queued when you are ready. Sir, I'm Jason Wilson. My master, Noman Carr, has no idea I'm sending this message. Let's be real. We both know this isn't about us. Ah. The hunted seeks the hunter. Our masters pretend otherwise, but this is personal. You and I are only pawns in their private war, and those I care about are caught in the middle. It has to stop. Wow. Gotta give it to her. She sure got guts. She certainly does. I appreciate directness. Your brutal actions have my attention, but this passive-aggressive foolishness is intolerable. This message includes coordinates where I'll be waiting in my ship. Let's discuss this face-to-face. -face. No more nonsense. What do you think of that, Captain? It could be a trap, my lord. Noman Khan may have put her up to it. Hey, don't listen to Captain Paranoid here. I don't think it's a trap. I trust her. Thanks for the input, Vet. The coordinates are set, my lord. We can rendezvous with her ship whenever you give the word. Well, well. We're going to have to thank Noman Carr after all. The Sith showed. Stand down, Sith. The Padawan you seek is not here. Master Carr discovered her plan and talked her out of it. It's not your day. You were expecting one lowly little Padawan to crush. And instead, you get us. You'll do just fine. I enjoy destroying your kind. Then we have something in common. I'm Alden. This is Xylix. We are fully trained Jedi Knights and more than your match. You should submit. 
Of course, we have yet to encounter a Sith who had the sense to surrender. You all seem bent on having us destroy you. Admit it. You'd be disappointed if I gave up. Not at all. We don't go around picking fights. I wouldn't trust it if the Sith surrendered. I prefer the sureness of death. Ha! <laughs> Keep thinking like that and you'll fall to the dark side before you know it. Shut your mouth. Xylux, remain calm. The Sith is just trying to unbalance you. Don't let this get under your skin. Of the two of us, it's clear that I am the more serene, the more grounded, the better Jedi. No, you won't goad me like this, Sith. I... I can control my emotions. Yes, stuff your feelings. Deny your true nature, Xylix. It's a ticking time bomb. I will be calm when you're dead! Xylix, get a hold of yourself. No, no more talk! You die, Sith! What a waste. I had no idea Xylix was so imbalanced. You exposed his weakness so easily. Your kind either fall to the dark or to a Sith's might. Noman Kar will prove those words false. You won the day, Sith. So kill me if you must. I must. <laughs> May the Force accept me. Apprentice, the timing of this call is fortuitous. I was just about to contact you with news. The Padawan bade me meet with her, so I went to end this. But two of Kar's Jedi friends were waiting instead. Fascinating. It seems both Master and Padawan have been disturbed by your exploits. I have received a transmission from Noman Kar, calling me out, if you will. Challenging me to face him to the death. Our enemy has become desperate. He must have lost his mind. Your efforts to disrupt his precious Padawan have unnerved him. He seeks to turn the tides. Kar fails to understand I have outgrown our personal dispute. He expects me to jump at the chance of strangling him. He will be unprepared for you. Sounds like you're trying to avoid confronting him. Jaso Wilson has felt your disruptions, not mine. You are what will draw her out. The duel is to happen on Hutter, at the site of Noman Kar's betrayal so long ago. A fitting place for this to end. Defeat him, but do not kill him. His torment will reach out to his Padawan. He will be the bait that brings her to you. I hope you're right about this. I can feel Jason Wilson on the verge of breaking. And Kar's desperate actions confirm it. Subdue the Master, and the pupil will come to save him. I have foreseen it. Your presence tells me that my fellows Alden and Xylix must have failed. Pity. Should have known Barris couldn't be trusted. As a man of my word, I'm here. Alone as agreed. Your Master shows himself a coward, sending you in his stead. You sound upset, Master Carr. Angry, even. Your crusade has affected me, Sith. I'm not blind to that. But I've wandered the line between the dark and the light before. I walked among your master and the Sith. My connection to the light survived them, and it shall survive you. You can't fool me. Your connection to the light is sputtering. I find your disruptions unnerving. But don't flatter yourself. I have no choice but to put an end to you. And then all will become calm again. Chill out of the way, 
Jason will provide the proof I need to open the Jedi Council's eyes and expose Barriss's network of spies. Come, Kar. Let us embrace death and settle this once and for all. The Force is very strong with you. I must dig deeper. Release your anger. It's the only way to defeat me. No! This is not right! Fall! You must fall to me! I fall to no one. My wound is mortal, Sith. At least I die knowing you'll never find Jaysa. My lord, Darth Barra sent us in case you needed help. Clearly that's not the case. He said Noman Kar should be kept alive. May we stabilize him? No. Barris be damned! I want... to die. Then Jaysa will be safe. I'm not done, Kar. You will suffer as no one has ever suffered. May the Force protect me. We'll save him, my lord, and then be out of your way in an adjacent chamber. Hurry, man! The Jedi's fading! <laughs> Torture me all you like, Sith. The pain only fills me with more hate, more rage. You... I... I'm going to kill you. You and your pathetic master are dead. Do you hear me? Dead! How delightful to hear you spew such venomous thoughts, Jedi. Please continue. Your smugness is an insult. You're not my better. Unbind me, so I can rip you limb from limb. My lord, the Padawan has arrived. She looks rather unnerved. Now we'll see what she's really made of. Sith! Your men outside let me pass, so I assume I'm expected. Cease your sadistic attacks on my master, now! Jason, no! I told you to stay put! How dare you defy me! Jason's destiny lies with me, old man. My sacrifice for nothing! Stupid child! For all your power, you have understood nothing. What have you... done to him, Sith? Has this been inside him all along? No. It can't be. No one can hide such darkness. Somehow you've turned him mad! Look into your master's heart and see the truth. Master Carr taught me not to use my power as a crutch, only when it was clearly necessary. I've never brought it to bear on him, but... I... I sense... Pride, and... Envy, and... Hate, and vengeance? No! What Sith trick is this? I would have known if such darkness resided within him. It's thrilling to watch your whole world crumble. I'm not here for your amusement, Sith. You killed Master Yonlok, and my parents, and now you've twisted my master into some abomination. I felt every torturous moment you put him through, and it must end now. Stop me. Lash out and strike me down. No, I... Is this more trickery? Do not taunt me, Sith. I will not be played with. Prove you are right. Destroy me. There is no other way. If not, you and your master die here. I've Wait! What have I done? Jason, no! Prepare to die, Sith! So frustrating! I cannot defeat you! It was... was it all lies? Everything? He told me that the light side was stronger. That it was why I could see through the facade of those who were dark. But it's not true. I am no match for you. The dark side is clearly... stronger. 
You haven't completed your training, Jason. When you are fully commune with the light side of the Force, no Sith will be your match. Yet you are a master of the light. Why couldn't you beat me? All my life I've put up with deceit and denial. I thought the Jedi would be different. You've shown me otherwise. You've exposed Master Carr for what he is. It's your power that reveals a person's true nature. The fear you inspire forces truth to the surface. I want that. You will be my apprentice, and I will teach you the ways of the dark side. I am honored, my lord. At last, I feel a sense of purpose. Something I can count on. What do you wish of me? And what shall we do with Master Carr? Your first act in my charge is to kill your former master. You want me to kill him? I'm conflicted about this. Perhaps you don't have the stomach to do what is necessary. No, my lord. I I'll prove myself to you. I'm actually feeling excited at the prospect of killing him. Jason, the Sith is turning you into a murderer. It is for the greater good. A principle the Jedi often use to justify their actions, no? It is done, my lord. Nomen Kar is no more. At the guilt of this, the exhilaration, the resentment, let it all nourish you. My emotions are raw, but I have never felt so alive. I have a taste for blood now. I look forward to indulging it with your next command. I sensed Noman Carr's death from across the galaxy. I must admit, after all these years, to be rid of him, it has unsettled me a bit. A worthy adversary is hard to come by. Don't worry. A good Sith is always cultivating new enemies. I see you have a new passenger. Jason Wilson, I presume. This is my master, Darth Barris. Greetings, my lord. You've endured quite a lot, young one. But you seem to have come through it rather well. Would you agree? I am very pleased with the outcome. I sense her devotion to you, apprentice. However did you manage that? When will you realize there is nothing I cannot accomplish? I'll admit this is more than I was expecting. There's no denying you are a master of the dark arts now. Only the most accomplished among us are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. It took you long enough. Mind who you're dealing with. As lethal as you must be to become a lord, a Darth is the embodiment of death. Don't forget that. Now celebrate as you see fit. Then return to me here on Dromund Kos. I have great plans for us. Wow. A lord. I'm impressed. Congratulations, my lord. I have much higher aspirations. I will do my best to see you achieve them. Yeah, what he said. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. Perhaps you would be more comfortable in my room, Jason. Don't think it's going to be that easy, my lord. Ooh, I really like her. What is on your mind, apprentice? So much. I've only touched the dark side, and already I feel as though the galaxy is unfurling before me. There's so much to take in. And I'll admit, I'm a little uncertain about what it means to be Sith. You must learn how things run around here, and how best to serve me. Tell me, what do you think your role as my apprentice is about? What do you suppose our relationship is? You are my master in all things. I do as you say, no matter what. My life belongs to you. That's how I was trained. But I want to do things differently. Show respect and honor my commands, but you can look me in the eye. Oh, I only wish you'd found me sooner. All my life I've felt kept and confined. 
always wanting to watch what I say, treating emotion as the enemy. The dark side is my freedom. I'm going to express everything. We believe that letting our emotions flow makes us stronger and unlocks our potential. As you speak, I am swelling with pride and hope. Please, may I ask you something? You need not be cautious with me, Jaser. Your availability is a gift. It's about the Twi'lek, Vat. Can she be trusted? She seems rather... soft. Vet lacks the will and the ability to resist. She complains, but does as she's told. If you're comfortable with her, then I am as well. I see I have much to absorb. I'm humbled by your attention. Thank you. We can continue this discussion another time. Of course, my master. Master, your indulgence, please? We haven't spoken for some time. Are you upset with me? It hasn't been intentional. Good to know. The nobles on Alderaan treated me like I wasn't there. First because I was just a servant, then because they knew I could see through their pomp and distortions. I wanted to expose it all. Bring their political nonsense to a halt. What was stopping you? I was naive. Stupid. And the lady I served seemed sincere when she advised me not to. Of course she ended up using me for her own ambitions. Deep down, I hated my life, but I swallowed those feelings. You've come a long way already. Now, you can let your feelings go. Yes. I'm finally living. All thanks to you. Master, remember the last Imperial port we were docked at? Because I don't. I think I partied a little too hard there. I vaguely recall an Imperial soldier. I think he and I, uh, got to know each other? Either that or I might have killed him. Or both, maybe. It's fuzzy. Why are you telling this to me? I just want you to know that I'm exploring all my impulses. Reveling in my freedoms. Like a good Sith. But don't get me wrong, I'm not really interested in nameless, faceless, possibly lifeless grunts. I reserve my interest for much more accomplished men. Always set your sights high. The truth is, it's your attention I crave, Master. That's more like it. You're much more attractive when you don't beat around the bush. Now look, you've gone and made me blush. You'll see, I'm a quick learner. I, I won't be so clumsy next time. Until then. Thank you for granting me this audience, Master. I'll only take a moment. I have nightmares. I'm wearing the plain robe of the Jedi. When I wake up, I giggle like a small girl. I'd like to see that. In your presence, that giggle would be a full-bodied laugh. I've come to realize that my appreciation of you puts me at odds with the precept of the Sith way. It is expected that an apprentice will eventually seek to overthrow her master. You'll never have to worry about that. You still display a child's naivety. I won't hold you to that. I have much to learn, but I know my heart. My conviction is real. I can't imagine the galaxy without you leading me through it. I appreciate it, Jaysa. I really do. You may go. Yes, my master. Thank you for this time. Master, I'm plagued. Tell me what's on your mind. What's on my mind? Let me see, how should I put it? Disenchantment? No, not strong enough. I'm feeling rather betrayed. It's becoming clear that the dark side is as flawed and undependable as everything else. Using my power to reach out into the galaxy, I'm becoming aware of false Sith. Lords who are secretly leaning toward the light. Supply me with names, and we will deal with it. If I knew, I would have already torn out their eyes myself. It will take time for me to pinpoint who and where they are, but believe me, I will find them. I'm glad this concerns you as much as it does me. Master, I know I've been moody lately, preoccupied about the false Sith I seek. I want you to know my confidence in the Empire is shaky, but my commitment to the dark side is strong. I'm reveling in the power of my new emotions. I'm all ears. Tell me about these new emotions. You name it, I feel it. Hatred. Elation. 
Fury. Lust. I haven't properly thanked you for this amazing gift. I don't want you to think I take you for granted. You should know that I can be, well, anything that you wish me to be. This will help me decide what I wish you to be. I like that side of you. I look forward to getting to know you better. We've only scratched the surface. If the Jedi only knew what they were missing. You have something to tell me. I'm just informing you that I will be disembarking for a short while. I finally tracked down the false Sith I'm sensing. It's time for me to bathe in their impure blood. Sever a few limbs for me, will you? You add fire to my rage, Master. I will return once my bloodlust has been quenched. The false Sith are dead. I slaughtered them. I slaughtered them all. But not before getting confessions from each and making them beg. I've never felt such satisfaction. Let it feed you. There are few greater experiences than destroying traitors. I will be on the lookout for every one of those experiences. For now, I'll continue to use my power to search for traitorous Sith, then systematically eradicate them all. The Empire will be pure when I am through. I vow it. Master, as time passes, the thrill of killing the light side Sith is ebbing. I'm in search of a new thrill. Perhaps one slightly more... personal in nature? Master, I want you. Why don't we find someplace quiet? I like a woman who's direct. Follow me. Everything looks a little different when you're relaxed, you know? The sky is brighter, the stars... shinier. Still, I'm not blind. I know you have a thing going with the Twi'lek. I think you're gonna have to end that. You ought to tell her you're through with her, don't you think? Never thought you'd be afraid of a little competition. I welcome the Challenger. Just testing to see if I could push your buttons. I really don't see what you see in her, but it's your life and your reputation. I love the thrill of killing. Hope that wasn't our last. The reactor core will self-destruct in 10 seconds. If there's something you want to say before the end, now's the time. You have opened me up to so much sensation and thrill. I am forever grateful. Alt code sequence complete. The reactor core will self-destruct in 5 seconds. Alt lock disarming. Alt door airlock release. Free. Alt open. Inside. Our enemies will pay for this. It's so amusing to think I was once training to be a Jedi. You're opening me up to my true potential. I feel such power surging through me. I'm impressed with how well you're absorbing all my various influences. Ready for more whenever you are? Dear, there will be no stopping us. Master, I have become aware of an amazing development. The other night I couldn't sleep. I sensed something and ventured out, tracking the sensation. I came upon a badly injured Sith who reeked of the light side. He was suffering and on the verge of death. Tell me you ended his miserable existence. I didn't have to. His injuries were extreme. He spoke of a Sith and his agents whose sole purpose is to hunt down traitors to the dark side. Whoever this Sith is, he filled this man with such fear and pain. All I can think is... Where do we sign up? We could coordinate efforts with this Sith. Exactly my thinking. We can share information and pool resources and clean up the Empire all the more thoroughly. By using my power on the dying man, I got an impression of the Sith who did the damage. I'm reaching out with my senses to try to catch his scent. Some kind of trail I can follow to locate him. You have my blessing. Leave no stone unturned. I will be thorough, Master. 
Master, I have exciting news. A trail of corpses, all slain the same as the light-side Sith I found, has led me to the perpetrator. His name is Lord Sentence. He's been secretly hand-chosen by the Dark Council to eradicate any and all Sith who are not pure. He operates with impunity. No one is above his judgment. It makes my mouth water just thinking about such power. Your abilities would be very helpful to his task. That's what I was thinking. He's already accused and destroyed so many traitors. It's a mystery to me how he has been so prolific without my special power. But I've reached out to him, and he has granted me an audience. That's good news, Jason. I'm sure he will see the sense of employing you to help carry out his work. I love that you're not jealous. Through him, I'll quench my need to purify the Sith and be back in my quarters every night. Or in yours. This is my destiny. The purpose of my power, I know it. Now, I'm meeting him shortly. Leave a light on for me. I see you've returned from meeting Lord Sentence. How was it? Interesting, to say the least. Within moments, I realized he was killing any Sith he pleased, all in the name of hunting traitors. Very few of his victims were valid targets, and he was very excited that my special power would unequivocally validate his work. Said that we could literally reorganize the entire power structure of the Empire. To entice me, he suggested we start by pointing the finger at you. Tell me you laughed in his face. I laughed in it. Then I stuck my lightsaber through it. The man wanted me to abuse my gifts and betray the one person in the galaxy I respect and owe my life to. It took everything I had, but it was the most satisfying kill of my young life. Tell me about the fight. He was ferocious. Honestly, there was a point where I thought I was done for. But my power is beginning to help me innately. I intuited a feint, and ignoring it, was able to counter his death blow and seize an opening. A fatal thrust through the neck. I've decided I don't like lightsabers. They cauterize as they cut. I would have enjoyed the blood. Remind me never to anger you. You elicit other emotions, dear. Besides, if you make me mad, I have a new way to vent. The Dark Council's emissary, a man named Kaliku, was there too. He's the one holding Lord Sendence's leash on this assignment. He offered me Sendence's mandate. As I sense light-leaning Sith, I'd report them to him. And when possible, I'd be sent to eradicate. Your dream come true, and a deserved distinction, Jaysa. I will make you proud. I promise. And don't think I'll forget that it's you who has made this possible. My devotion will never flutter. Thank you. Master, everything else aside, the visceral experience of facing Lord Sendence continues to tantalize me. I relive it nightly and awaken buzzing. When I feel such pleasure, all I can think of is sharing it with you. When I feel pain, I ache to be consoled by you. I know what this is. It's love. I love you too, Jaysa. Mm, I feel weak and strong all at once. The chaos of it electrifies me. My heart is yours now, know that. But I want this to be different. Special. As you already know, my reflex is to rush to instant gratification, but let's milk this feeling, this want. Let it build before we act on it. All the better to wait until we ache with longing. The ache in me spikes when you talk like that. I think we are going to like this little experiment. I have to say, this idea to wait and let the desire churn, fantastic. I'm burning for you like never before. I think it's time to do something about it, don't you? You read my mind. Follow me to my quarters. I like it when you lead. I'll be watching you the whole way there. I have to admit, that was so worth the wait. Instant gratification is overrated. I'm a new woman now. So much greater intensity is built through denying one's appetites and then gorging. I'm going to apply this lesson to all things. 
Eating, training, killing. I won't take the easy, quick path ever again. I'm glad you found what fulfills you. You fulfill me, and I trust you, completely. You're the first person I have no compulsion to use my power on in order to be sure I understand. When I'm with you, I actually forget that I have this power. And it is such relief. I'm realizing I never really relaxed before. All my stresses subside when we're together. Alright, this is almost too sweet. We don't want the galaxy thinking we've gone soft, do we? Let's get back to work. I look around, I see other men, even the uncomplicated strong ones, you know. My type. And there's no reaction. It's like every cell inside me knows. You and I are made for each other. So you better propose or something, because our offspring will be the most powerful creatures in the galaxy. You're just brimming with confidence, aren't you? How do you know I want the same things? If you're asking if I used my power on you, don't insult me. I'm venturing out on my own. Blind. Can't we leave the game playing behind us? I want us to be married, and then populate the galaxy with Sith. But only as equals. Why don't you shut up and let me lead? I can do that. Marry me. You're right. Much better this way. My nostrils flared and my pupils dilated. I love my emotions. I love being sick. Husband, will it ever stop? The craving for greater power, the lust for more conquest? To Sith, those things are like breathing. The way I feel, the drive you've awakened and sustained in me will never extinguish. My last breath will be expelled fiercely. Our children will be so gifted. And I'll use my special powers to help guide them and your future disciples. Together, we will build the most fearsome legacy the galaxy has ever seen. You're Jason Wilson, aren't you? I used to be. Any regrets, my dear? Joining up with this rogue? Absolutely not, Jedi. Not when I get to meet and destroy obnoxious fools like you. A woman after my own heart. Yes, you seem to deserve each other. 